prize for you. At this time, we are going to have a gauntlet match. And the winner of that match will go on and become the number one contender for the Pro Wrestling 225 SEC Championship. Ladies and gentlemen, the following is a gauntlet match. Good it is brought to you by 2KS Trucking and NB Bowen Construction. You gotta figure the first two entrants into this gauntlet match have the least odds of completing the whole thing. But here comes Golden Simon Phillips. Ladies and gentlemen, introducing first, he is contestant number one, Golden Simon Phillips. Hold on, Simon Phillips, your next SEC number one contender, baby. And just to think that this man, this young man, a couple of years ago was my broadcast partner. But he seems to transition beautifully to being an active in-ring competitor. But again, the odds are not in their favor of either Simon Phillips or Avery Nolan of going the distance. Again, ladies and gentlemen, the rules of a gauntlet match are as such. These two men will start, and then after one of them has been defeated, either by pinfall, submission, disqualification, or countout, the next challenger will make his way and will then continue the match until the final man enters the gauntlet, and the winner of that match will go on to face Michael White for the SEC Championship. So if Simon Phillips or Avery Nolan Again, I gotta let Cousin Bryce get into his words. But Avery Nolan and Simon Phillips both have to have some really good cardiovascular strength if they want to have any opportunity at, at all of going the distance. Oh, big clothesline by Avery Nolan, the live wire. I, I got to wonder what he thought about what happened with the Big Ramp Enterprise Championship with Chase Bell. As... My former broadcast colleague turned pro wrestler Simon Phillips, the golden one. Looking to make a name for himself and only got a two count on the live wire. And now Simon Phillips up and over, lands on the ring apron. Nice agility, scores with a right hand. And now Golden Simon Phillips with a nice springboard drop kick to Avery Nolan. Goes for the cover to advance in the gauntlet match and only a two. And now Avery Nolan with a northern light suplex with a bridge and only a two. And now, and now Phillips, the golden one, with a pump kick to the live wire. German suplex with a bridge, and only a two count. You gotta figure the best strategy in a gauntlet match would, would be to put your opponent away as quick as possible, 
So you save some of your strength. A beautiful hangman's neckbreaker by Simon Phillips. Goes for the cover on Nolan. Because again, you're going to need all your cardiovascular strength, all of your conditioning, all of that, if you want to go the distance in a gauntlet match. Nice flash in the corner by Livewire. Avery Nolan scores with the running bulldog. Shades of the natural, Dustin Rhodes, and only a two. And now, Nolan gonna go right back up to the top. He's got his sights set on Simon Phillips, who saw the drop get coming and got out of the way. And now Phillips, with a beautiful modified neck breaker. And he gets the win, eliminating Avery Nolan. Uh-oh. Here comes Wild Thing. And there's one thing you should know, ladies and gentlemen, JTM is also in this gauntlet match. After Wild Thing scores with the Uranagi. And, it, and I happen to know for a fact that Wild Thing still wants to get his hands on JTM after that. Oh, God, the Wild Style. Just like that, Wild Thing advances. But Wild Thing been looking to get his hands. And here comes Thaddeus Jones. Thaddeus Jones not really endearing himself to the crowd. But now it's Wild Thing and Thaddeus Jones in this gauntlet match. Jones choking the life out of Wild Thing in the corner. Again, the, the, I believe the best strategy it would be to put your opponent in his way as quick as possible. Oh, wait a minute, a little bit of a miscue right there by Jones. Jones. Wild Thing sends him into the opposite corner and went for the stinger splash, nobody home. And now Thaddeus. What a beautiful power slam on the Wild Thing, goes for the cover and only a two. Jones not happy with DJ Petrie's cadence, but he's always got a solid cadence, in my opinion. And now Wild Thing, thinking it to Thaddeus Jones, big clothesline. But you also got to wonder how focused is Wild Thing in this match, knowing. Oh, the wild style. Wild thing. Knowing that he still wants to get his hands on J. Oh, no. Oh, my God. Here he comes, that turncoat. And Wild Thing's not going to wait for him to get in the ring, and I don't blame him. Not after what JTM did as Super Gold. JTM turned his back on all the fans here at Pro Wrestling 225 when he helped Michael White steal the SEC Championship from Wild Thing. And why did he do it? For money, ladies and gentlemen. I thought I knew this kid. I thought this kid had guts. I thought this kid had integrity. 
But now look at him. Turned his back on the fans. Turned his back on the people that brought him here. But now Wild Thing, look at the power of Wild Thing. A big right hand by JTM. You know, Cousin Rice might have called him Mr. 225%, but this is not the JTM that I know. Fisherman suplex by JTM. Because Mr. 225% wouldn't have to use low tactics and stabbing someone in the back the way that this JTM has done. And now Wild Thing fights out of that fireman's carry. And there's the Wild Style! The Wild Style, that'll be it! Oh, wait a minute. Wait, what the? Simon Phillips, what are you? Wait a minute, Dale Springs! What the hell is Dale Springs doing here? Oh my God! DJ Pendry never saw it. What the hell is that about? JTM advances, but what the hell is this about? If I was DJ Cyprian, I would wait until Simon Phillips and Dale Springs gets out of the ring. What the hell was... Was this a setup by JTM? That's what it appears to be to me. A setup by JTM. What the hell is that about? But 12 gauge DJ Cyprian who I happen to know is a friend of Wild Thing. Not happy about what JTM has perpetrated and looks to gain a measure of revenge for Wild Thing in this gauntlet match. Nice drop kick by 12 gays DJ Cyprian. Cyprian looking for that double barrel shotgun suplex. But JTM counters with the fisherman suplex. And I still, I, again, I cannot believe this JTM. Ever since he lost the SEC championship, he has just not been the same person. As Supreme, oh, you see right there? See, the, 200, the Mr. 225% that I first started watching wouldn't have done that. He wouldn't have gone the cheap route and yanked DJ Cyprion's hair. This JTM will break every rule in the book. But Cyprion, DJ Cyprion. Beautiful leg lariat by 12 gauge DJ Cyprion. And it looks like he's trying again for that double barrel shotgun suplex. And there's an RTS by JTM. And it spells BYE for Cyprion. Hey, wait, what? And now, ladies and gentlemen, your seventh and final entrant. Red the Threat Thibodeau from Karen Crows in this gauntlet match? Oh my god, what would that mean to the Cajun Outlaws if Red the Threat Thibodeau wins this? And here we go, JTM and Red the Threat. One of these two men will go on to face Michael White for the SEC Championship. And, and look at this maneuver. I've never seen this. 
I'm not exactly sure what to call that maneuver. It was almost like a double underhook power bomb of sorts. Or a modified version of. But now JTM trying to fight out of that front chancery. Red, the threat just takes him over. Now Red, the threat, going to take a chance with it. I say he moonsault and nobody home. Now JTM with a running knee right to the jaw. Of Red, the threat, and now JTM with a butterfly suplex. Oh, but now Red, the threat, going to the eyes. Talk about someone who will break every rule in the book. Oh, wait a minute, the Suicide DDT! Suicide DDT! And I don't believe it! I don't believe it! this the new number one contender to Michael White's SEC championship is his own Cajun outlaw teammate in Red the Threat Thibodeau Michael White saying this belt's not going anywhere and Red the Threat might have other ideas when it comes to that. I mean, JTM was our inaugural champion. Michael White stole it back in 2019. Oh, wait, what the? What the? What? It almost looked like White was going to clean the clock of Red the Threat Thibodeau. And now look at Red the Thread and holding the ropes open for the champion. And I'm still shocked about this, ladies and gentlemen. But it's, apparently it's going to be Outlaw versus Outlaw for the SEC Championship. But anyway, ladies and gentlemen, your winner of the Gauntlet match and the new number one contender from Michael White's SEC Championship, Brett the Threat Thibodeau from Karen Crow.